Aguina Ushla, Cunance Moshe Bahale. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, Reverend Sister, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I request a respectful silence. It is with great pleasure that I now welcome His Excellency, the Ambassador of Ireland to Malaysia, Eamon Hickey, to his first St. Patrick's Ball in Malaysia. And I call upon him to make his address. Thank you very much, Martha. Well, in a previous existence, I was Consul General in Chicago, and, and Chicago prides itself on being the home of Irish dance. Well, I'm going to write to them and tell them that their position is under threat. What a wonderful act. How can I possibly follow it? Mr. Morgan, President of the St. Patrick's Society of Selangor, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honour to be with you here this evening on this wonderful occasion. And before anything else, I wish to thank the members of the St. Patrick's Society of Selangor for the warm welcome they have given to me and to my colleague Kerry O'Sullivan since we arrived in Kuala Lumpur some months ago. I've had the pleasure of attending St. Patrick's Day events in many parts of the world. As here, the experience has always been joyful, a coming together of the Irish with our friends and hosts in the local community, with whom we always have such warm and friendly ties. And for its part, the St. Patrick's Society of Selangor has been bringing Irish people of all backgrounds together with our friends here for a very long time now. I wish to congratulate Des Morgan, President of the Society, Vice President Martha T, and all the members of the committee for their excellent work in organizing this evening's wonderful event. <clears throat> As always on St. Patrick's Day, I recall how fortunate we are to come from a country that is so open to the world. Indeed, we've had many difficulties during our history, but the payoff, the silver lining, has been a worldwide community of wherever green is worn. A community in which ourselves means not just people born in Ireland, but our friends wherever we are, and nowhere more than here in Malaysia. In the same vein, and from the same wonderful source, our great national poet, William Butler Yeats, I recall his verse, think where man's glory most begins and ends, say our glory was we had such friends. <clears throat> this is a very special year for us, as Des mentioned, the centenary of the Easter Rising 1916, an event of enormous significance in our history. As President Higgins so aptly put it in his message, we commemorate the rising in a spirit of reconciliation and openness, embracing also those who follow other political traditions that have helped to shape our country, paying tribute to the sacrifices of our forebears and celebrating Ireland's place in the world today. I'm pleased that the Embassy is organizing a number of events to commemorate the rising the first of which will be a public lecture by a distinguished speaker from Ireland to take place on the 20th of April, so make a note. Ladies and gentlemen, we count our blessings at this time. Today, Ireland's openness to the world reflects not just our tradition of emigration, historically due to adverse circumstances at home, but which also reflects our economic success in modern times. After some difficult years, we are again going forward and have resumed our strong position in international rankings for trade, investment, tourism, and of course in education, which is such a strong feature of our relationship with Malaysia. We take great pride in these achievements, 
We take pride in our worldwide ties. Above all, we celebrate community and friendship. And here we celebrate Ireland and Malaysia. The night is young. Let us enjoy it together. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Hickey.